Hey what's going on guys in today's video we'll be doing a review of Longtail Pro so Longtail Pro is a null in one keyword research tool so it allows you to do traditional keyword research you're also able to do some competitive research some backlink analysis and you're also able to do rank tracking and some other features Longtail Pro is a pretty popular keyword research tool they've been in the SEOgam for some time but they recently added a lifetime deal on AppSumo so it hot it'd be a good idea. To do a full updated review of this tool to see how it compares to some of the other keyword research tools in the market the regular monthly plan of Longtail Pro starts at 37 per month you can get the Pro at 67 and the agency plan is $147 so if you're already familiar with Longtail Pro and you like it I highly recommend grabbing the lifetime deal from AppSumo. So at the time of recording this video you'd be able to pay one time and have lifetime access to Longtail Pro so far. 69 you'll be able to get 5000 keyword lookups per month you get 5 projects you also get unlimited domains unlimited keywords you also get a lot of other features included such as the backlink analysis daily rank updates personal domain analysis you get 5000 backlink rolls per 24 hours 1000 pages per crawl and 10 crawls per day so you get a lot more features for a lower price. In the lifetime deal here on AppSumo so again if you want to go ahead and grab the lifetime deal I'll go ahead and leave a link. Below this video and if you want Tedto you can always stack your codes on AppSumo so you can go ahead and get the tier 2 which will give you 10.000 keyword lookups per month and 10 projects for $829 and again you can go ahead and stock up to tier 5 which will be 100,000 keywords lookup per month 100 projects and it would be just a one-time payment off. $499 Just before we continue this review I want to let you know that I recently recorded a full 30 minute in depth training on how I went from 0 to over 10k per month from this YouTube channel so if you want to go ahead and check out that free training I'll leave a link below once you have a plan for a long tail pro this is what your dashboard will look like so as you can see it looks like a very typical keyword research and competitive research tool if you wanted to get and start doing your keyword research you just go ahead and type in your seed keyword in which you're researching go ahead and click retrieve and you'll have a list of Keywords in which you can choose from and on the left hand side you also have the SERP analysis so this allows you to add a keyword for any keyword in which you're researching and you'll be able to see what the Google search results look like you'll be able to see the competitive nature of the websites that are ranking for that keyword so that you can go ahead and judge if your website will be able to rank for that specific keyword next you also have a rank tracker so this allows you to track the keywords. For your specific domain so you want to go ahead and enter your domain enter some specific keywords in which you're trying to rank for and you'll be able to keep track of those rankings next is your backlink analysis so just go ahead and enter your domain or a competitor's domain to be able to see what backlinks are pointing to their websites and this will allow you to find backlink opportunities for your specific website because if you find a website that's pointing to your competitors most likely if you Reach out to that website they'll also give you a backlink as well and then you have your profile and settings billing information so you also have some built-in video tutorials so you can actually go ahead and do a simple bootcamp which will allow you to relive able to figure out all of the features and integrations that you can use with Longtail Pro to get the most out of this tool so let's go ahead and take a look at each specific feature starting with the keyword research tool so again you can go ahead and start your keyword research by searching up your seed keyword so for this example we'll be doing some research around green tea and you can also go ahead and enter your own domain so if you want to go ahead and get some keywords that's most relevant to your domain you can go ahead and enter your domain here so once you're really happy with your seed keyword go ahead and click retrieve and once your keywords are loaded this is what your keyword research will look like the first tab here will be your Average keyword competitiveness and essentially this is your keyword difficulty metric you have your volume here and next you have your bid which will tell you how much this will cost if you were to buy on Google AdWords and then you have the word count for that specific keyword then you have the rank value so this ice if you were to rank for this specific keyword how lucrativium that specific keyword is the language and the location. When you're doing your keyword research you want to go ahead and do abroad. Search first to get an idea of some keywords that you can write about for your specific blog or website but once you've went ahead and done your broad research you want to get a little bit more specific so in order to do so you want to go ahead and toggle the advanced options here so this will allow you to add some filters onto your keyword to find the perfect keyword for your specific blog or website the first filter you can do is add a minimum search amount to it let's say you want to go ahead and get Keywords that are only 500 um searches and above and you can also filter by the suggested bit but I'm not going to do that for this example and if you scroll down to the bottom Harry will also be able to add some more filters so you can go ahead and filter by keywords that include a specific word word so for instance let's say you want to go ahead and only have keywords that include a specific word such as hot or such as cold. 
or whatever is relevant to your specific keyword research you can go ahead and do. That and you can also exclude specific keywords so for instance let's say if you want to exclude keywords that include Walmart Amazon Quora or just keywords in which we're not really looking to rank for you can also go ahead and add those filters in this section here and if you head over to customize you can actually go ahead and remove some of these specific columns or information which you don't need so if you don't really need the bid you can go ahead and remove that and as you can see that will be Remove from your keyword research results and once you're re happy with your filters just go ahead and click retrieve and you'll be able to get an updated keyword results you also have the option to increase the amount of suggestions that you get for a specific keyword so right now I just have 35 so you don't really get that many keywords but you can go ahead and increase this up to 50.um and pretty much any number that you want to be able to get more keyword suggestions for them the keyword in which you're researching so a suitable keyword would be something that has a low keyword difficulty so this metric is between 0 and 100 so the higher the number the more difficult that keyword is so you want to go ahead and find a keyword that has a low difficulty and also has a higher medium search volume so keywords such as peach green tea seems to be fitting that criteria and also we can see that the rank value here is pretty high since you find a suitable keyword just go ahead and click on that keyword. And you'll be able to get some more information about that specific keyword so we see here that the average keyword competitiveness is 30 we can also see that the search volume here is 1900 if we scroll down we'll be able to see a breakdown of the competition on Google so we can see the websites that are ranking for that specific keyword and we can also see the competitiveness off your domain so the higher the number again the harder it would be to rank for that specific keywords you can see here that we have some websites that don't really have that high of a domain rating so it would be easy easier to rank for this specific keyword but this competitive analysis is really good because it allows you to get a snapshot off the Google search engine rankings for that specific keyword rather than having to go on Google and manually search it up yourself you can get all that information here in one place the next way you can use your keyword research tool is by searching up competitive keywords so you can go ahead and enter the domain for your competition and you will be able to see some of the keywords in which they're ranking for and this is a really really good tool because if your competitors are ranking for a specific keyword then it's more likely that you can also rank for that keyword so just go ahead and enter that keyword within this section here and click retrieve and as you can see the tool will start finding your competitors keywords. If you scroll down again you will be able to see the keywords that that specific website is ranking for so TSIS a really really great tool to use especially if you're in your website you can go ahead and find some websites that are also kind of new within your niche search up to see what keywords they're ranking for and this will give you some great ideas of keywords in which you can start um targeting and trying to rank for and again. If you see any keyword in which you want to get some more information on go ahead and click on that specific keyword and you'll be a bleedo. See a breakdown of that keyword and lastly you can go ahead and enter some manual keywords so if you have some ideas for keywords that you want to get some information on just go ahead and enter that in here and click retrieve so below the keyword research tool we have the SERP analysis so again just go ahead and enter any keyword within this section here and you'll be able to see what the SERP results is for that keyword so first you'll be able to see the monthly search volume for that specific keyword. Next you'll be able to see the strongest competitor so you'll be able to see who's ranking who has the highest domain authority the highest trust on Google for that specific keyword and you'll also be able to see the Google results breakdown so you'll be able to see the organic results the featured snippets local search ads and knowledge graph and again if we scroll down here we'll be able to see what the landscape looks like for that specific keyword so we'll be able to see which websites are ranking there. Domain compared additiveness their trust flow their citation flow and some other important information which will allow us to assess if it would be easy or hard for us to rank for that specific keyword and below the SERP analysis you have the rank tracker so this is a very simple rank tracker it allows you to go ahead and track any keywords in which you would like to for your specific website so just go ahead and enter your keywords enter your domain here and you'll be able to track your keywords over. Time so you'll be able to see if you gained or if you lost any rankings for those keywords so again just go ahead and enter your domain your keywords your location and you can also set up how often you want to go ahead and track those keywords and as you can see you can track for Google for Yahoo and Forbing once you're happy go ahead and click retrieve so once you set up your rank tracker you just need to give it some time for the data to aggregate and for it to pull data on those specific keywords in which you added on but over time you'll be able to see where your keyword to rank on Google below the rank tracker is your backlink analysis so this is another really useful tool this will will allow you to really improve your off-page SEO so just go ahead and enter your competitors go ahead and click retrieve and you'll be able to see which backlinks are pointing back to his specific website so you want to go ahead and filter and find only backlinks that have a high domain authority within your specific 
Niche that's ranking to a competitor and if you find one you want to go ahead and hit them up and try to get a backlink from them as well for some reason this specific feature I sent working on my plan of when I hadn't sent them a message but this is a useful tool because it allows you to see what competitors are linking out to other websites or blogs within your niche and you can also do a backlink analysis for your own website. To see what domains are also linking back to your own websites but overall if. You're an SEO or you're a digital marketer or you're trying to grow a website or blog I think this is a very very useful tool for you to have especially if you can get it at this time when they have a lifetime deal you can save a lot of money in the long run and you'll have access to a very powerful keyword research and competitive research tool so again if you want to go ahead and grab the lifetime deal. For long till pro I'll leave a link in the description below this video as always I hope that you enjoyed. This video and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already until next time stay well.